think one of the blog entries that's caused the most interest over the last few weeks has been the ones that have been talking about the uh, the DV access point dongle and um, it'll be fun to put together a little bit of video uh, to show how easy it is to set up and uh, uh, what it looks like. So actually physically this is what it looks like, it's just a little red plastic box uh, which uh, has got a, a USB connection on one end which goes off to uh, your computer, be it a, a PC or a Mac and uh, a little antenna on, on the right hand side um, and uh, as you see it's a pretty small antenna but it's um, it's good enough to uh, uh, work all the way around the house and actually um, I'm up on the first floor here or second floor if you're American um, and uh, have the antenna in a window and it'll go about uh, three or four hundred yards so uh, you know reasonable distance from the house um, but I have heard people talking about putting them on external aerials and it'll go up to a mile so um, yeah we plug that into the PC and uh, we'll see what happens okay so here's the DVAP tool software um, hopefully you can see we've got the uh, the station call sign uh, what the uh, the DVAP will appear on the, the D star network has uh, you can set the, the frequency I, I, just, I think that's that's brilliant you know, the fact you can type in a frequency on here and it uh, automatically changes the, the frequency on on the DVAP I've selected 144750 which is a, a quiet channel around here and um, you've got the DVAP device it opens a, a COM port so if we press open there you'll see it's all connected up and um, we're ready to go. Okay, well, this is my little E92 handheld uh, for D-Star, and um, the great thing is we can do all the programming we need of the uh, the access point uh, from the handheld. Uh, it's got a bunch of very simple commands. The first one, which I'll uh, I'll fire off now, just shows you that the access point is working. DV access point dongle. So that just tells you that uh, the rig is talking to the DVAP and that uh, everything is good. So what we'll do in a second is we'll uh, connect up the, the DVAP to a, a reflector and uh, see if we can hear some contacts going on. Okay, so what we're going to do now is link the DVAP up to um, I think a Australian repeater, I heard some activity on there a second ago, so we'll give it a go. Um, one of the nice things on the E92 is that you've got a bunch of call sign memories. Um, so I should have one to uh, connect to VK3RWN. Um, where are we? Uh, towards the end. About, there you go. Uh, VK3RWN. So what you do is in the call sign memory you put the call sign of, of the repeater, the, the port, so uh, in this case it's, it's port C which is on 2 metres. Um, the port system is that uh, A is 1.2 gigs, B is uh, 4.3 4, or 70 SEMs, 4.30 4, megs and uh, port C is, is 1.44 megs. And then finally um, an L on, on the end of it to, uh, to link it up. So if I press transmit now says remote system linked so we connected up to VK3 RWN so you can hear Australian voices coming out which is pretty good now before we're ready to uh, make a contact on there I need to change the call sign menu back to uh, CQCQ, otherwise it'll try and link, link us up again when we're already linked. So uh, no point in doing that, so just flick the uh, call sign menu again. And uh, go to the call sign. There we go, CQCQ. That's all set. So that's VK3BA. No worries, Have a good evening anyway. I'll get the dishes and make my lunch and um, 
doing my paperwork for, for, uh, for Holiday and whatnot yet, so I'll better start doing some of that, otherwise I won't get to bed until late. I'll have a coffee in a minute. You can tell what time of day I'm recording this. It's uh, sort of uh, mid morning, so. Uh, uh, the guys in Oz are uh, just starting to think about going to bed. So there you go. There's uh, there's the DVAP in, a in action. You can see uh, how to uh, how to set it up and, and how straightforward it is. A cautionary uh, word: I wouldn't normally connect directly to uh, a repeater. Um, it chews up the uh, the bandwidth of uh, of the repeater a little bit if you do. Much better if you can to. Uh, connect directly to a, a reflector, something like Ref uh, 5A or, or 1C, uh, and then you're actually using the uh, the bandwidth on the uh, the reflector uh, rather than uh, picking on a particular particular uh, repeater, but uh, it just seemed a nice one to, uh, to demonstrate. So there we go, there's the DVAP in action.